This is a very classic math competition question. We are going to find non-zero a and b so that the square root of 0.888 for heifer, so you see that we have a repeating decimal, and we want it to be equal to 0.bbbb for heifer. So how can we make this true though? Well, let me give you guys an example on the side first. If today we have 0.2 being repeating, what does this mean? Well, we have 0.2, 2, and so on forever, right? What does this mean? Well, this means we have 0.2, and then we have to add 0.02, and then we have to add 0.002, and so on forever. That's what this means. And now, do we see it? Yes, this right here is precisely a geometry series, and the common ratio is 1 over 10. So that's how we just put like one more zero, one more zero each every time. It does converge because the absolute value of 1 over 10 is less than 1, and this right here will give us the first term, which is 0 0.2, and we just have to divide it by 1 minus the common ratio, and we see this is 0 0.2 over, work that out, we get 9 over 10. And then of course we can just multiply the top and bottom by 10, and you will see on the top we just get 2, and on the bottom we get 9. So guess what? If you have one digit being repeating, you can just divide it by 9. That's it. You have 0 0.5 repeating, just 5 over 9. That's it. And um, another example real quick, but I'm not going to work this out for you guys. Just try it on your own. If you have 0 point, mm, let's say, 25, this is really easy. It's just 1 over 4. But if you have 0 0.25 repeating, this is going to give you 25 over 99 and yes it will give you 0 0.25 25 and so on so go ahead and give it a try or maybe just enter this on your calculator and you will see it now back to this how can we make this happen the key is we are going to rewrite this in terms of fractions so for the first one we will just get square root of a over 9 and again we just have a be repeating so that's the key and we want this to be equal to b over 9. Cool. Now, let's think about the possibilities for a. Well, if a is not a perfect square, you do the square root of that, it's going to be like irrational. It's going to be messed up, right? So a has to be a single digit perfect square. So that means a has to be equal to 1, or a has to be equal to 4, and the last choice is 9. 9 is actually a possibility as well. And once we know the a value, what we can do is just put the 1 in here and then solve for b. So we are going to get the equation square root of 1 over 9 being equal to b over 9. And we see this is just 1 over 3 being equal to b over 9. Multiply 9 on both sides. So this means b is equal to 3. So the first combination is 1 and 3. Pretty crazy. What we are saying is square root of 0 0.111, so on, so on, so on. This right here is in fact equal to 0 0.333, and so on. Yeah. I think it's more believable if you just square both sides, but the, really, the real way to believe this is write this in terms of fraction. But anyway, here, do the same thing put 4 in there so we get square root of 4 over 9 being equal to b over 9 so that means we get 2 over 3 it's equal to b over 9 and here we are multiplying 9 on both sides so we get 3 times 2 so b is equal to 6 all right and lastly this right here i know what you guys are going to say it's pretty debatable but just you know continue watching we get square root of 9 over 9 and that's equal to b over 9 so we get that's 1 and uh, that's equal to b over 9 so b is equal to 9 okay so far so good but what's so crazy about this here's the thing for this combination here i will just have to tell you the truth is when we have 0 0.999 forever this right here if we take the square root, 
we are saying this is also equal to you know b is equal to 9 so you get 0 0.999 forever how is this possible the truth is this right here 0 0.999 forever is actually just equal to 1 and the idea is that the da 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 notation is actually just for the limit so the limit of this is equal to 1 likewise when we have this is also equal to 1 so the square root of 1 is of course equal to 1 and that's it so you can see I'm just going to put down another combination which is that one square root of 0 0.444 forever this is equal to 0 0.666 forever and so on so we have one two three we have these three combinations pretty cool huh